the champion in the House of Representatives that made today's day possible was Representative Nan Hayworth, who tirelessly, fearlessly, passionately advocated until we were over the finish line in the House. And working with you was a pure pleasure. And I would like to ask you to kindly come up and deliver brief greetings in honor of today's celebration, commemoration, which is so meaningful to everyone here. And the Honorable Nan Hayworth. Thank you, Ezra, and every good wish on uh, your new baby. You. It's very exciting. Uh, members of the Wallenberg family, Chairman Yurnekian, and distinguished guests, uh, I myself am the daughter-in-law of a Holocaust survivor and the mother of two Jewish sons, so I am blessed to have some familiarity with the Torah. And the Torah commands the righteous to redeem the captive, in Hebrew, pidyon shfuyim. When a Swedish diplomat, a Lutheran, assigned to Budapest in 1944, witnessed the captivity of the Jews of Hungary, he took it upon himself to save as many of them as he could, using the means available to him. And in so doing, Raoul Wallenberg not only redeemed tens of thousands of innocent lives, he redeemed all of humanity at a time when a diabolical regime was threatening to destroy its very soul. During the centennial year of Raoul Wallenberg's birth, 2012, I was privileged to serve with my colleague, Congressman Gregory Meeks, to manage the bill that became the Congressional Gold Medal for Raoul Wallenberg. The Congressional Gold Medal is an extraordinary honor, and few individuals are more deserving of it than this man, who had previously been made an honorary citizen of the United States. And today, I am once again privileged, this time to extend most heartfelt thanks to the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation and to Chairman Eduardo Urnekian. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For your leadership your extraordinary courage and leadership in assuring that Mr. Wallenberg, whose earthly fate, as we all know, remains unknown, will live on not only in the descendants of those he spared, but also in the courageous deeds of those his example continues to inspire in a world desperate for heroes who know, as he did, that in man kan yura skulnat. One man can make a difference. Thank you. Thank you.